This comes as the White House and the right-wing media is continuing to focus ahead of the midterm elections on the caravan of Central American migrants more than a thousand miles from the U.S. border. On Monday, the White House announced plans to send 5,200, 5,200 active-duty U.S. troops to the border. Meanwhile, Trump described the caravan as an invasion, echoing language used by Robert Bowers, who attacked the synagogue in Pittsburgh, killing 11 Jewish worshipers. On Monday, White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders was asked if troops at the border would adhere to posse comitatus, meaning armed forces cannot be used in a domestic police role, and if Trump would suspend habeas corpus or the right of arrested individuals to appear before a judge. It has not been ruled out. Those are options on the table. Uh, look, I'm not going to get into specific policies that we're considering. There's a number of actions that we're looking at taking. This comes as human rights groups are raising concerns over health conditions among the migrants and their children. This is Oaxaca's human rights ombudsman, Arturo Pembert. Muchos vienen con fiebre, ¿no? Están teniendo cuadros bron de, de, de respirator eh, broncorespiratorios agudos. Pero el censo en general estamos hablando de más o menos 2,000 niños los que van en esta caravana. 500 son muy, muy pequeños. No nada más es el tema del transporte, sino más bien el llamado a la dimensión de la crisis que estamos enfrentando, ¿sí? Por lo que es muy importante que esté previendo el Estado mexicano cuál va a ser el modelo de atención a esta población, pero especialmente esta población de niñas, niños y adolescentes que están migrando. Last week, Mexico offered the migrants temporary work permits if they stayed in parts of southern Mexico. But Mexican police are also cracking down on the migrants, killing a Honduran man on Monday.